morning, everybody. Happy New Year 2024. We did it, guys. We did it. So I have just a little prop here. I hope you can see it. Um, just to, to bring in the new year. And as you can see, I don't have any dishes this morning. <laughs> so I did buy this little, what do you call it? Sparkling apple juice. And it's a twist off, I think. I hope, yeah, it's a twist off. It's non alcoholic. There's no alcohol in here. And I had at this one of actually I had a lot of fruits. I had a lot of fruits and I think I got rid of them. I got rid of them I think about two years ago. And I remember because I, I one New Year's I had the whole family get we, we bought champagne. We bought good champagne too. And um we all had a glass of cheer for for uh New Year's. I forgot which year was that. So I did still do have these. It's kind of like I said, well, this will work. So we're gonna pretend like we have a little bubbly in here. And um get these guys a little closer. So Cheers, everybody, and I just want to wish everybody a happy new year and that whatever anybody does or whatever your endeavors are or whatever plans you're going to be making this year that everything will come into fruition for you and your this whole year will be a, a start of great blessings starting this year and, and throughout all the years to come. Um, cheers. That was good, actually. <laughs> so this one is going to be a quick one. Um, I'll probably drink this later because it was good. Um, yeah, I, I did have, um, what do you call it, like my shirt I made it the, uh, the other day. <laughs> I didn't stay up, what do you call it, uh, last night because I was really tired and, you know, everybody was up uh, because we're either working or my daughter was celebrating um, my grandson's um, birthday. Uh, at her place, so really, really didn't do much. I think I'm just gonna put this. Ain't this cute? It's a top hat. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it is, but I, I really do like, I really do like props. I don't know why, but I, I, I really do. Um, so everybody was, uh, yeah, somewhere else, and um. Since I'm not going to be, well, really drinking coffee this morning, um, I'm just not in a coffee mood right now because uh, I think I had coffee last night. Or, excuse me, just, you know, just to keep me awake a little bit because I was waiting for my son to come home and he had late, a late shift. So, and you're always worried, you know, because, you know, when they're on the commute. You know, especially last night, because last night there was a lot of uh, fireworks. And even my little grand puppy was like, you know, got scared and he was with me. And I was like, yeah, I could just see, you know, it was kind of like the 4th of July, actually. And I was like, wow, what's going on out there? But um, just hope everybody made it home safely um, today. Um, I know that there has been a lot of bad news the last uh, couple of days, you know, and things happening and a lot of people who didn't make it into the new year and things that happened right after Christmas, which I don't understand. Sad, sad that people, you know, you know, end up doing silly things and you ruin your family's lives or you take away your own life and, you know, 
and you kill your, you know, you do away with your whole family. It just, it, oh my God, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So, or people are getting killed or, you know, it's just, just crazy. But, um, hopefully you won't hear any more bad news, um, later on today during the day. Because I always, you know, usually when it comes to the new year, you usually find out, you know, about a few hours later, if, you know, anything bad happened or, you know, but we'll see. Hopefully nothing did. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't watch the countdown only because I was tired and, you know, right, right, like 10 minutes to 12, you know, I said, oh, I think I'm just going to take a nap and, you know, and I said, well, if I watch the countdown, I'm just going to get all emotional and I, I didn't want to do that. But just when I was ready to, you know, snooze out, my daughter calls me. I wish you a happy new year. I was like, ah! <laughs> I was just about to knock out. <laughs> so we talked a little bit and stuff like that. And we were, you know, talking about all the, the hoopla that was going on outside and things like that. So, and then she sent me a picture of uh, them blowing out the candles for my grandson. He did like the cake, by the way. She did send me a picture. I wish I could post it out here somewhere. I just, I, I just don't know how to do it. Um, but she did send me a picture. Um, I'll probably end up posting it on Instagram. Instagram, you could go to Emma Perez. Emma Perezable. Emma Perezable. You can see the cake there on Instagram. Um, it's E M M A. P E R Z A B L E Emma Emma Perezable on Instagram. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff on Instagram, like you wouldn't believe. But uh, you can see the cake there. Um, I'll post it later on today. So, like I said, I didn't um, felt bad that I didn't vlog me finishing the cake because I was like I had to go. Um, CVS, and I did go to see, I did use my $10 uh, care pass. I did, I paid zero out of pocket. I did buy two Suave shampoos, because I needed a shampoo. And, um, I, yeah, it, it was zero. But the, the thing is, is that even though you have a $10 care pass, they're still charging you $5, and you kind of like get $5 free. On, the, on their half. So if you want to really look at it, because th these swabs shampoos just came out. So they cost like $5 a bottle. So if you really want to look at it, I got each one like for $2.50. Because they take out five out of my account every month for the care pass. And then I get a, a $5, you know, reward back. So, um, which makes it the $10. Um, it really helps a lot when you're doing, you know, couponing at CVS because if you want to buy other things, that 10 really helps your out-of-pocket. So again, I did buy two bottles of shampoo. I paid zero cents, but if again, if you want to look at it, you could say that I bought each one for $2.50. Each. So anyway, it was a good day to have. Luckily, my daughter, she was like, you know, oh, do you need a cake carrier? You know, I'll bring you a carrier. So we and we just nicked it. Oh my god, I have a cake carrier. I think I showed you showed it to you guys. Um, this is this is my cake carrier, but for the cake, it was just. Well, it didn't matter. I mean, it would have fit perfect in here, but hers was a little bit more, more smaller, like really smaller. And, um, so, and we, and I had, I had put it on, I had put the cake on this plate. And then when I put it in her carrier, it was like really, it was cute though. It was kind of small, so I'm gonna to have to get the plate out because I already saw when I was trying to put the top, I was like, oh my God, it's gonna smash it. So I had to take the plate out. And once I took the plate out, like I'm serious, it's like, it had that many 
barely was barely able. You just made it. <laughs> just made it. So, um, yeah, so then she goes, oh, you know, she came to pick me up, got the cake. And she was the one that drove me to uh, CVS to go get the, the shampoo. And I go in there, I'm waiting in line and trying to hurry up because I thought, I'm just going to run in, run out, and that's it. Because I wanted to get back, you know, to my grandpuppy. I didn't want him to be by himself. So, you know, and here I am, you know, I'm waiting. And then all of a sudden I see this guy running, like walking real fast and running. He runs out the door. Then I see the security guard. And he's yelling, stop, stop, don't let me shoot you. And I was like, oh my God. Ah, like, oh, he did have something. He did take something. So could, he just, it just didn't look normal the way he, he hurried up and ran out the door like something was up. So, and it was so funny because the guy, the security guard came back with the stuff he took. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and this other lady was like, man, you 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 caught him that was fast you were fast she said and uh, he goes oh yeah i used to play football in college so <laughs> i guess you know that that you know like my son said that that helped <laughs> you know so he caught him he caught him. i was like holy cow and then i was worried because my daughter was in the parking lot you know and I'm like, oh my God, my daughter's in the parking lot. Oh my God, oh my God. And he's talking about shooting. I'm like, oh my God, I have to, oh my God. But um, luckily we hurried up and I went out and I told my daughter, did you see anybody around her? She goes, no. Because no. she was trying to mess around with her radio because her, her radio froze in her car. And she got it working. But oh my God, that scared me. And I had my grandson in the car. And I was like, oh my God, you know. And so she took me back home and... Uh, yeah, and then they, you know, she went, she went on her way. And she didn't go out. She goes, no, she goes, she's not going nowhere. <laughs> and like I said, sometimes like Robin Barngard, she had gotten the Channel 9 News in Chicago. Just stay home. Don't go out. You want to be safe. Just stay home. <laughs> My, she was, a, it was her best advice. Stay home. <laughs> she was always pretty. She was always cute. But anyway, again, cheers. I'm going to finish this up. <laughs> no, top, topping it up is when they fill it, right? Oh. Like I said, again, it's non, -al non alcoholic. Get those at Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go and relax a little bit. I'm going to finish. I already did write a list. Of what I want to do so I'll keep you updated gonna get back into my crocheting because I have a lot of crocheting to do and again I did have those blowers you know that make noise I couldn't find them last night <laughs> that was I haven't seen them like for the last two weeks when I was you know packing up the cookies and looking for this and looking for the sticks for the elf and everything and I saw them and I said, well, it's just as well, because if I would have made noise, I would have, you know, gotten the dog started. So I said, nah, I'm better off not having it. But anyway, okay, guys, my name is Emma Sai. I'm always introducing myself at the end. If you're just hopping on, thank you for being here. And again, I'm into everything. So if you want to see and spend the new year with me, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Happy New Year. Guys, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Oh, my God. Um, so I did the cake and everything, okay? I did that. And uh, I decorated it, and it came out cute. It kept, except it did come... You know, kind of like lopsided a little bit. Like it came down. I was like, ah! but that's okay. But I decorated it and everything. And I was kind of like, you know, my daughter was going to come in about 20 minutes. And I wanted to make sure everything was done. And then I had to get some clothes ready. And then she wanted me, um, then she was asking me if I needed a cake carrier. And I said, yes, I do. Because, you know, I have mine. But... You know, she had one. That would be awesome. 
Um, so I said, yes, definitely bring it. And, um, and then we we're trying to make sure that the, the cake, you know, the top didn't push the, you know, the top of the cake down the, the top of the carrier cake. It just barely nicked it, like nicked it. So it was pink. I mean, pink, it was red and white. I did write happy birthday, you know, and I think my writing's getting a little bit better. And, uh, so yeah, the, the cake, you know, came out nice. It was, you know, it was just borders and white with, you know, like little like flowers, not flowers, but the, um, uh, I don't know, the piping from the piping bed kind of, they kind of look like little, little, little tiny flowers. <sighs> I forgot to vlog it. <laughs> I was like... And then I was like, I have to run to CVS. So I'm trying to get a bag. I'm trying to get our coats on. And, you know, because she was going to drive me. I didn't have to worry about walking all the way over there. Because I was going to walk the cake over there in a carrier, my carrier. Walk it over there and then walk to CVS. And then walk back and then pick up my carrier and then come back home. But she says, oh, no, no, no. She goes, I'll, I'll pick up the cake and I'll pick up Hippo. And I'll take you to CVS. I said, yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So with with all of that, completely, I even forgot to take a, a picture, like, at all, period. And I was like, I forgot to vlog it. I was like, oh, my God. They're going to think I'm lying. <laughs> no, you guys have seen me uh, decorate. Well, on my channel, I, I've had other cakes that I've decorated. Anyway, so that happened. I was like, ah, well, there'll be another birthday soon. So, oh yeah, mine. <laughs> Maybe I'll I'll make a little cake for myself. <laughs> I'll I'll show it from beginning to end. Oh, but also, um, my daughter's birthday is on the same day as my birthday. So maybe I'll just make a cake for her. And um, I really don't eat cake. I mean, I like cake if I read. So here, there you go. I'll be making another one soon, and I'll definitely film that one. Like, oh my god, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I did that. You guys didn't have a chance to see it. So it, even if I asked her to take a picture, I wouldn't know how to. If I, if she sends me a picture, I don't know how how I would put it in the film in my film i don't know i don't know how how i would do that so yeah because you can't click on photos i don't think i don't think i would have to make it like a thumbnail and i don't want it to be a thumbnail not with my grandson's name name on it so yeah that's not gonna work but uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure there would have been, been a way to do it, but I just, I don't, I don't know how to do that. <sighs> anyway, I'm eating dinner and I'm making, I made, um, kind of like a Chinese bowl. So I have spaghetti, I have chicken and I mixed it with teriyaki sauce, oyster sauce, um, a little bit of barbecue sauce and peanut oil so I mix that all together and we're gonna find out how that tastes because <laughs> I'm, I'm just adding all this stuff together so I didn't have no mayonnaise and usually when I do chicken I do it Italian style so I do it with mayonnaise and stuff so but I didn't have no mayonnaise now well how am I gonna make it thick I have no way to make it thick so I just said well I'll make it Chinese style I'll just add all these different you know um sauces so let's taste this thing let's taste this thing find out how it tastes i'm trying to get some spaghetti in there mm-hmm I mean, not great, but not bad either, you know? So I mixed all those together. 
oyster sauce, teriyaki sauce, and open pit barbecue sauce. I think that's mostly what I taste is the open pit. Mmm. And the peanut oil. I think what's giving it that spicy taste has to be the um the teriyaki. The teriyaki sauce. And nevertheless, it does taste good. Mmm. Came out good. And what I'm gonna do probably later on. I'll just wait, call it, make some fries. Mmm. Yeah, I have some fries with ketchup. Hmm. Okay, guys. So, I'm watching... I've never seen this movie. And it was with Irene Cara. Um, this came out years ago. It's called Sparkle. So that's what I'm watching right now. I'll probably watch It's a Wonderful Life after this. I already told my kids, um, you know, I was just going to be here with the dog. And I'm just going to chill. I'm not going anywhere. Might sleep through the definitely sleep through through the new year. I just wanna just wanna be by myself. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna finish eating this. Finish watching the movie. Um I'll do better next time, guys. I cannot believe I did not show you the cake. I can't well, like I said. My mine and my daughter's birthdays are coming up, so I'll be making another cake then. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish this and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so walking the dog out this morning, so if you can see it finally. What, where is your wait? Come here, come here, wait. I don't know what it got this thing tangled. And I don't, uh, hold on, I just, I just get a good grip on him. So it finally snowed here in Chicago. It was like, we've been waiting for this, but, you know, I don't think it's that kind of snow that's gonna, that's gonna stick. Hold on, there's a car coming, hold on. So I don't know if he's coming or not. Oh, they're dropping people off. And I get really iffy about being out here. What the heck was in there? Must have been a game or something. Or I'm thinking maybe like a dark game. Uh, somebody had a party out here yesterday. Yeah, you know in the olden days when after Christmas people, I mean the garbage cans were filled with so much gift wrapping paper. Well, this year, hardly nothing. Hardly nothing. Well, I can't speak because we heard we had some, but not that much. What is this thing? It's like a suitcase. I don't know. Anyway, he has to walk slow because I don't know what these people are doing. Okay, so hold on, hold on, Circe's. Okay, so yeah, I finally came down. So I'm just gonna wait for these people to get in the car. Oh, they're backing up. Okay. So I'm making a cake today, so it's my grandson's birthday. He's gonna be 14 years old. Um, I had a hard time finding the candles, but I finally got them. I went to Dollar Tree, and then there was a bakery, so I went there too, and I was able, oh, is he coming now? Wait, hold on, he has, he's coming this way. Now he's coming this way. I don't know, maybe he couldn't. Okay, guys, uh, let me walk this one, and I'll show you as I go along um, to make the cake. Okay, hold on, wait, because I have to, I have to, hello, I'm sorry, excuse me, oh no, I'm just recording.
recording my dog and how beautiful Chicago is with all the snow. I'm like, no, because I, I, I have to walk him that way. I wasn't sure if you were coming or going. Then I saw you back up and I go, well, is he coming? Because I'm trying to stay put so the dog won't go nuts. He's a very strong dog. So I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, I don't even know who you people are. Why would I record you? <laughs> have a happy new year. Be, please be safe. Okay, bye-bye. Wait, 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 wait. Don't pull me. Don't pull me. I got I got it. Hold on. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, here we go. So I am making a cake for my grandson. You can stay here. You don't have to go. And um, he's going to be 14 years old. He is 14 years old today. So these were the candles. I bought him. 14. 14. 14. And um, this is everything. I already flowered the pans. I'm not making a big one because he like I usually don't make any more big cakes because not everybody eats cake anymore like we used to. Um, of course, I need my measuring cups, but my measuring cups are gonna be to make the icing, okay? So this is the yellow cake. I just bought this at Aldi's. It was only like 99 cents. And when you wanna, what do you call it, learn or do a cake, just read the instructions. Just read the instructions. Very simple, guys, very simple. And I'm going to use strawberry preserves because he wants strawberry in there. And so that's just going to be the cake. Now, for the uh, icing, of course, I always use a shortening. Um, there's one that says baking. So when you use, find the shortening, say the one that says baking on there okay that's the one i always get the one that says baking although i would like to go with, with crisco but ever since ever since like every time i want to buy crisco they never have it um i definitely use a meringue to to thicken the icing and i'll be adding vanilla and almond flavor to give it flavor and of course he wants a red and white cake so i have the red dye to make the icing some of the icing red and of course you want your iced sugar okay so this is all for for that so this is all how it looks like this is everything that i'm going to be using as you can see i already have the batter and of course i did use my black and decker uh mixer so let me see if i could just pop these guys up a little bit more so you can see a little bit more what i'm doing so this, of course, is going back. And like I said, I always, I always clean as I go. It doesn't make any sense to leave stuff hanging around. I already have the mini oven going only because it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense for me to use a big oven just for little small cakes it just it doesn't make any sense to me so we're putting this away I don't need that anymore oh, gonna throw the box away okay. and all this is going to go on that side because that's where I'm gonna use the mixer so everything has to go back on the other side Again, this is going in the middle of the cake. And now, when I do the cakes, I always do them in uh, in parts. Like I'll do I'll do the baking first, and I'll show you as you know as I go along. So I do the baking first, okay. Out. And then I fill 
them up half, halfway. You try to even it out as much as you can. So it's hard sometimes. You want to make sure you have everything in there. So it's kind of hard to judge what's even and what isn't. I still haven't been able to find one, a good spatula. I mean, I bought spatulas, but they weren't really good. Kind of disappointed, but you know, I'm gonna keep looking for for better ones. But this one takes everything off from uh, the bowl, like literally everything. So that's what I like about it. You want to get those um, air bubbles. You want to get those air bubbles out. Okay, so we're going to come in here. dinner just yet. So again, you want to keep, keep tapping these. You want those air bubbles out. Okay, so we'll probably see. What are you doing out there? We'll see you in a bit. Almost there, guys. Almost there. So I already have the cakes done. I already have uh, the pans that I have to wash. That's just got to soak for a little bit. I already made the icing. So this is what the icings look like because he said he wanted a red and white cake. So this one I'm using to cover because he wanted uh strawberry filling so the most i was able to do was um buy strawberry preserves so i don't have strawberry gel and i really wouldn't even know where to get that i mean i kind of do but yeah no. so um i don't know if i'd have to order something like that i'm not really sure okay so i will be using this one for the border and then of course I'll be using this one for the writing and I do also have um, a cake carrier so I'll be putting the cake on here and I'll be taking it over to my daughter because they're going to be celebrating over there at her place so and yeah but I gotta make sure I bring this big baby back one time, uh, uh, I made a cake for uh, my husband's uh, co-worker. And I was like, no, I want that bag. You better go get it. <laughs> and he did. He brought it back. I was like, no. So this is how the cake looks like. And inside the middle, I can't take the topping off now. But inside the middle, I put the strawberry, strawberry preserves. I made like a little ring. So the strawberries are inside that ring. So I'm going to let this, um, let the icing, I'm going to let it sit for about an hour and then I will do the rest. I'll start frosting the sides, adding the border and the writing, and then I'll be done. I don't usually, I don't make, I don't know, I don't, 
I have to practice on my flowers, but I don't like putting flowers on boys' cakes. And I usually make a lot of men cakes more than girls. So I have to practice on my flowers, although I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, I have to practice on that. So it's just going to be border writing. And I do have the candles. Yeah, I'm out of breath already. Just trying to get all this done. And I still have to run to CVS. I have to buy some shampoo because I'm really low on shampoo and I don't want to waste my extra care bucks. But for the most part, everything is done. I just have to wash these guys and I'll be sent. And I don't know, I was thinking about making spaghetti, but I don't know if I'm going to make spaghetti after all. No one's going to be here. So I might save that for tomorrow. Okay, guys, let me go get this one in.